Hello and welcome to this tutorial on deploying a basic search service application in SharePoint's Meditan server form. Uh, this is the first uh, in a series of um, search tutorials I'm planning to do on SharePoint 2010. Um, SharePoint 2010 introduced a, a new service application model which is very flexible, scalable and of course extensible also. Um, this new model provides a lot of opportunities for ISVs in terms of you know, creating customized cross form service applications and deploying them. Uh, and within uh, SharePoint 2010, you know, many such service applications are there. A few uh, examples would be Excel services, Visual services, you know, Word services, and Search service. And the topic of uh, today's tutorial, you know, Search service is also a service application and has many more, many, many improvements or MOS 2007 search service architecture. As you can, as you see here in this diagram, search service architecture changed quite a bit. Um, the index uh, role can now be uh, highly available. What that basically means is uh, now we have something called the crawler role, which can be placed on index server, and that can be made highly available. And these crawlers basically put index partition files on the query servers. And even that can be um, distributed in such a way that if one query server goes down, the entire index is available on the second query server. Uh, a discussion on this search architecture can itself be a different session. So let's now quickly look at how to deploy a basic search application uh, within um, a three servers SharePoint 2010 form. So what I have uh, here is uh, three virtual machines configured on top of Hyper-V uh, basically have one front-end, a, a DB server, an application server where I'm going to uh, put the crawler role. So uh, these three virtual machines, I've configured the complete uh, uh, form, I've uh, uh, deployed SharePoint 2010 and all necessary other components and then con completed the configuration wizard. So we can straight away look at um, how to configure a search service application. So for that first thing we need to do is open uh, central administration. So this is the new uh, central administration uh, site by the way. It looks pretty, um, it looks uh, more like a server console that you see here, these icons around. So to create a service application, the first thing what we need to do is go to manage service applications. Um, these are some of the service applications by default running on this uh, SharePoint form. So to create a new ser service application, all we need to do is click on new, select search service application. This kind of loads up another window where you can give different um, options that you can configure. Let's give it search service one. Um, Fast service application is another um, piece of software that's available or that and that can be deployed along with SharePoint 2010 search uh, uh, service. For now, let's keep that away. That's another topic, um, another day. Right. So what I have here is the administrator account for search service. This is not recommended. Uh, I don't have the service accounts created here, so I'm just going ahead and using the same um, administrator account. Otherwise, you need to have you need to go create a new managed account by clicking register new managed account option here. Um, this thing here, a cre create new application pool is basically for um, the search service admin uh, web admin interface. So uh, let, let's give some name here again. Um, let's give it search service admin. Again, I'm using the built-in administrator account, which is not recommended. Um, you'll have to create a new search service account for that. And another application pool, this is for the search query. Um, give it another name, search service underscore query. And click. So uh, the search service uh, application creation is in progress based on the ki kind of um, uh, server configuration that we have uh, you know, this, this is going to take some time let's wait for this to complete so our search application is um, created successfully so just click OK to go back um, to the uh, manage uh, service application page 
Now what we can do is we can click on search service and uh, go look at the topology of this particular service application. So this is uh, the search application topology here and uh, if you actually see uh, I've had three servers here one is uh, SharePoint 2010 app, SharePoint 2010 DB, SharePoint 2010 WFE but if you see here all my search services are running on SharePoint 2010 web front end server which is not right so what I need to do now is I have to modify this topology to uh, enable crawl component to run on my SharePoint 2010 app server so to do that like it did here just select the crawl component 0 select edit properties and then select the app server in the resulting window and then click OK you see here there's a update is pending or introduce apply topology changes again this will take some time based on uh, how the servers are configured alright uh, so now the configuration changes whatever we are doing to the search service application topology are complete let's just go review of, um, if the changes are done properly or not yes like you see here the crawl component um, is now moved to SharePoint 2010 app server uh, from the web front end so that completes the search service uh, configuration that's a pretty basic level configuration of uh, search service right. now what we need to do is we need to go create a web application and they say in this um, search service that we created just now so for that let's go to manage web applications um, I don't have a web application created here so what I'm going to do is click on new so uh, claims based authentication is another new thing that's in uh, SharePoint 2010 we can talk about it sometime later so let's just leave all the default settings I want to allow Venanimous access to it um, every, everything most of most of it just leave the defaults here and this is where uh, we need to talk a bit so service um, service application connections by default this is the default configuration and by default it, uh, whatever service applications you have in the form all of them will apply uh, or attach to a web application when you when you create a new web application if you want to modify that what you could do is just select custom and then um, select what you want to assign and leave the remaining else out. So I'm just I'll just go with default configuration and uh, let's make sure all of the settings are intact and click OK. This will take some more time. Okay, so our web application creation is complete. Um, we can click OK to go back to the uh, central admin or click on create site collection page um, to create site collection underneath this web application. So that brings us to the end of this video tutorial on deploying a basic search service application in SharePoint 2010 server form. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, please provide any feedback that you may have um, leave your comment here or send me an email to my uh, email address which is there on the contact page thanks and looking forward for more such tutorials